Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show NFL Ups and Downs Edition. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. We are joined today uh, from Fishers, Indiana, Jamie Zaleski, and right here in Marshfield, Wisconsin, Trevor Zaleski. Trevor, how's it going today? Doing good. A uh, good deal. Jamie, down in Indiana, how are things shaking? Uh, it's cold outside, but it's nice and toasty in here. Yeah. Well, same here. We got that going on here, too. I think that's all across the country right now. Uh, all right, uh, today's edition of NFL Ups and Downs is a special playoff edition, and in today's show, uh, we will each pick our playoff favorite, a team that doesn't belong, and then a team that's an honorable mention, or uh, just one more team that's noteworthy, and then we'll discuss as a group, as we always do. So, with all that being said, we will start uh, down in frigid Indiana with Jamie and his favorite team in this 2018 NFL playoffs. All right, so my favorite is going to go back to the New England Patriots. It's just hard to bet against them. They have been a model of consistency for uh, 16 years under uh, Tom Brady's tutelage, along with Bill Belichick. They're a number one seed again, best record. Uh, I don't see anybody stopping them. Yeah, t- tough to argue against that. All right, what team, Jamie, doesn't belong in this year's playoffs? Uh, that would be the Buffalo Bills. Um, just a disaster of a year for them. Uh, they benched Tyrod Taylor for Nathan Peterman one game. Uh, and they get slaughtered by the Chargers. And they kind of back into the playoffs, uh, you know, off of an Andy Dalton 90-yard touchdown uh, in the fourth quarter with a few minutes left in that game, or I don't know how much time was left. Um, Baltimore was almost a shoe in They should have been, that, you know, going into Week 17. So Buffalo probably is a team that does not belong this year. Yeah, all right. And your honorable mention in this year's playoffs. Honorable mention is going to go to the Tennessee Titans. Uh, first time in the playoffs since 2008. The last time we went to Kansas City, the temperature there was about zero degrees, and we beat them um, in, in regulation. And so going back there this year, I feel like they can pull off another win. They play uh, a similar style that, than the Kansas City Chiefs. And <clears throat> going into the next weekend against the Patriots, the Patriots DVOA on defense is 31st. And so while they are you know, very powerful on offense, the Titans are very strong on defense. So I think that you know, given the game and you know, how things played out, the Titans could, in theory, beat the Patriots. And if they beat the Patriots, nothing's stopping them then. They would have the mojo on their side. So. All right. Somebody wake up Jamie from his dream. Let's uh, clear the air here on that. Holy man. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll turn to Trevor now for a reaction to Jamie's picks. Again, as a reminder, Patriots, Bengals, and Titans. Uh, Trevor, what do you think? Um, so for the Patriots, uh, I agree in the fact that as far as as uh, the AFC, they have a pretty easy route to the, play, uh, the Super Bowl. Um, but also, uh, it's just hard for any team to win back-to-back Super Bowls. So in that respect, they might have trouble. But other than that, I don't, I don't see them uh, struggling too much. All right. Uh, and uh, you agree that the uh, Bills don't belong? I, I also chose the Bills as my team that doesn't belong for, for most of the same reasons. Uh, as also, they play the... The Jaguars, the first round, very turnover, hungry defense that is looking at Tyra Taylor and looking like they're going to beat him up pretty badly there in Jacksonville. So, all right, good. And we won't uh, we won't ask about the Titans. We'll let Jamie keep that dream alive for as long as possible. I know the less words we have, the better for Jamie. So, uh, you know what? Uh, the Patriots to me uh, are certainly one of those teams. And you could say, well, not a lot of teams win back to back Super Bowls, and you'd be right. I don't know, though, if the Patriots technically won uh, last year's Super Bowl, so uh, so we'll see. Uh, and there will be more about the Patriots to come uh, during this uh, show here today. As far as the Buffalo Bills, Andy Dalton sucked as a Bengal. He is the Buffalo Bills MVP, and uh, that's uh, one reason the Bills are in the playoffs. Probably the only reason. It was a 4th and 12, Jamie, down there in, uh, uh, in, in, <laughs> in during the game, and, and they, they strike with 12 seconds left to a touchdown, and uh, just unbelievable. So... Uh, and best of luck to the Titans. That, that's, I think, where we'll leave it um, on that today. Uh, T-Rack, the only uh, dinosaur in the uh, mascot race in the NFL. That's my view of the Tennessee Titans. Uh, all right, uh, Trevor, we'll go to you now for your favorite in this year's playoffs. My favorite is actually the Minnesota Vikings. I think they'll actually uh, maintain home field advantage throughout the playoffs, even into the Super Bowl, because I don't see the 
the uh, Eagles winning a single game. Uh, they're not the most complete team in the NFL, but they definitely are the best defensive team in the NFL. And uh, having home field advantage is going to be big for them. And if if the if their competitor in the Super Bowl is the Patriots, I uh, I just think that home field advantage and the fact that it's hard to win two in a row for the for the Patriots is will play a factor into that. All right, sounds good. And you mentioned that your team that doesn't belong is the Bills. Tell us why you think that. Well, I, again, it's a lot of the same reasons as Jamie, and also they're just the the. In the AFC, a team like the Bills has a really tough, tough road to get to the uh, Super Bowl. A lot of uh, highly, or a lot of high offenses in there, so it's just not. I don't think their offense can compete with a lot of the other offenses there. So. All right, and tell everybody about another team to watch in the playoffs this year. Mine is actually the Atlanta Falcons. I I think that you shouldn't let the six uh, seed fool you here. Uh, just like last year, the Falcons went to the Super Bowl. And lost in a heartbreaker, so I just it wouldn't be surprised if they're the most eager team here to go back to the Super Bowl. Um, it's just uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just think they're the, the team to look out for, and uh, they they are very experienced compared to a lot of, or some of the other teams in there, considering they did go to the Super Bowl last year. So that's my dark horse. All right, very good. Jamie is a uh, used to be a part-time Atlanta Falcons fan. Uh, he also knows that the Vikings are 0 and 4 all time in the pl in the uh, in Super Bowls and have been disappointing Viking fans since their inception. Jamie, go ahead. Yeah, so with the Vikings, you know, a team is a uh, uh, an NFL team has never played at home for the Super Bowl, and I expect that streak to continue this year. Um, I think when it comes down to it and the Vikings have to play some of these other teams with the high pedigree of players and uh, experience, you know, somebody like the Saints or the Panthers or the Falcons, I don't think playoff time, crunch time football, Case Keenum is your man. Um, the defense is solid, but, you know, I, I don't trust it in a, in a pressure situation. All right. Uh, and then uh, tell us about the Falcons. Well, I mean... Uh, it's an X factor. I, I would be surprised if they made it far. Um, it, and it's kind of disappointing because they, they have all the pieces on offense to be, uh, you know, a top three offensive team. And yet they struggle week in and week out. They don't go to Julio Jones enough. They don't uh, target him in the red zone. Uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of confusing what they're trying to do on offense. And the defense has always kind of just been middle of the road. Uh, I mean, I could see them beating the Rams maybe in the first round. The Rams are very young. Uh, they'll probably be hyped up for that game, so it could be a little too hyped. So I can see the Falcons winning the first round. Uh, yeah, you know, the Falcons to me are, are a mystery. Uh, they nearly got beat by the Bears uh, early in the season. Uh, they had uh, just stretches where they didn't look like a, a competent, competitive football team. Yet, in the last month in December in crunch time, they did what they had to do to make the playoffs. They are in the playoffs. Uh, justifiably, and uh, I'll, I'll talk more uh, about the Falcons, though, in just a minute. Uh, along in crunch time, though, in week 16, they got beat. <laughs> All they had to do was win, and they got beat. Yeah. They did, you know, and, and if, we could, if we could go through every team right now, which we don't have time for, but, the, I mean, listen, the, the Saints are the Saints are a big-time football team right now, and they, uh, they're going to be a lot of people's picks to win the Super Bowl. Not mine, though, so we'll go to mine right now. Yeah. Um, if if cheating is allowed, then the Patriots will win the Super Bowl this year. That's uh, where I'll start this conversation, uh, because uh, Patriots and cheating go hand in hand. And if they can find a way to cheat to win, they will. And if it's allowed, uh, they will be this year's Super Bowl champion. If cheating is frowned upon, and if it's uh, uh, scorned on, and, and uh, punishment comes down on cheating during the playoffs, the Patriots will be out and then put the Vikings in. I, I think the Vikings' defense is Super Bowl uh, caliber. Uh, but I, I agree with some of the other statements that have been made. Uh, Case Keenum, and when it comes down to pressure, uh, he's never been in the playoffs before. And as a leader of the team, uh, that could be that'll be something to watch as as we go through uh, the playoffs this year. Uh, my team that doesn't belong in the Philadelphia Eagles. They do not belong in the playoffs. Now, Carson Wentz had them on that particular trajectory, uh, but after his uh, his knee injury and he went out, the Eagles are out. Uh, they they will not win a game. Uh, I don't know who they'll play yet, but I, I bet they won't be competitive. Uh, in the Eagles tune-up game in Week 17, as they were getting Nick Foles ready, uh, he was 4 for 11, 39 yards and an interception. And they said, yeah, Nick, that's pretty good. Come on out. You're all set to go for the playoffs. So that's the best they got. 
and uh, that makes them uh, probably the worst uh, football team in the playoffs this year. And then my dark horse is the Los Angeles Rams. I, I really, I, I don't know exactly how many games the Rams will win, but here's what I know about the Rams. They're confident in what they're doing. Going into week 17, they didn't have the three seed locked up. They could have been the three or the four. The Rams said, we don't care. We're going to be the three. We're going to be the four. We're still going to win because we're going to rest our starters. So uh, Goff sit down, Gurley sit down. All their, all their high-profile players sat, uh, and the Saints did them a favor. They lost to the Buccaneers, so the Rams are still the three seed. So that type of confidence goes a long way with me. Uh, I like that kind of style, that kind of flair. And uh, the Rams say, come at me. And the Falcons are going to come at me, and I think, I think the Falcons get thrashed. I think it's a 40 to the 17 kind of game over in Los Angeles on Saturday night. So, all right, I said a lot there. Uh, Jamie, we'll go back to you right away. Okay, so as far as the Rams go, I think for them, going into Week 17, they didn't care if they were the 3 or the 4 because if they ended up being the 4, they get to play the Eagles. Who wouldn't want to play the uh, get a second-round bye like that? Um, with the Eagles being your worst team in the playoffs, you know, I, I can definitely see the point you're making. If you took the last four weeks and did power rankings in the NFL, they'd probably come around 28-29. Uh, just a very poor team right now, and uh, they've lost all their mojo. So, And I've already said what I'm going to say in the Vikings. Good team. Uh, not going to win it, though. Good team, wrong time, I think is what you're saying there. Uh, number one seeds, too, have had a very rough go in the last 10 years, and that's where the Eagles also sit right now. Trevor, uh, you're up. Yeah. The Eagles have looked pretty bad. I actually was uh, watching the Cowboys and Eagles game last week, and I ended up just leaving to go grocery shopping because it was such a boring game to watch. Uh, neither team was really productive, honestly. Uh, and as far as the dark horse, the Rams, uh, it's just a little unpredictable because of how young their team is, how young their coach is. Just everything about it is a little unpredictable, but uh, I could definitely see them winning some games in the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. I, I think Todd Gurley may be, uh, may be a, a real threat in the, in the playoffs. Again, I don't know how many games they're going to win, but uh, they're going to be fun to watch for sure. So, all right, well, we will go. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, so if the Rams did win against the Falcons, that would make a really good matchup in uh, the second round with the Vikings and the Rams. They played yeah. earlier this year. The Vikings won, but that was a really good game, really close game. And so I would expect it to be uh, amped up even more for this round if that were to happen. Yeah, for sure. Uh, U.S. Bank Stadium would be loud uh, when the Rams, uh, if the Rams were to, to have that happen and come to town. That'd be a, a game to watch for sure. So, all right, good. Uh, a good conversation today. I think we've got people set up now. This is your NFL playoff primer. I uh, appreciate everybody uh, tuning in today, all across central Wisconsin and all across the country for that matter. Uh, so, we will wrap things up. Uh, parting shots. Uh, Trevor, any last words or shout outs? Uh, fire Scott Linehan. Players got Linehan. All right, good. Trevor, all your friends are watching, so uh, we'll, we'll see what they say about that. <laughs> uh, and speaking of friends, uh, uh, Jamie's got friends all over the place. Uh, any last words, Jamie? Yeah, so I made a prediction at the beginning of this year. I was a little off on the Titans' record, but I did say they were going to win the Super Bowl. And right now, they're still on that trajectory to win the Super Bowl. And if they happen to lose this week, fire malarkey. Everybody wants everybody fired. I think, Jamie, what he's saying is if you've got a chip and a chair, you've got a chance. And everybody, all 12 teams have a chance right now for the, uh, uh, for the Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl 52 upcoming uh, on February the 3rd. So, all right, well, that'll do it uh, for this week's show. Everybody, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.